week three of the fantasy basketball season. And he has a few guards I would drop this week, though. The first guy, Jalen Brunson of the Dallas Mavericks. So Brunson on the season, pretty decent numbers. But the last few games here, he's really fell off on the season. 10.7 points a game, 4.2 rebounds, 4.7 assists, 1.3 threes a game. But only 41% from the field here for Brunson on the season. So the last few games for him, October 28th versus the Spurs. 19.7 rebounds, 5 assists, 3 threes, 53% from the field. October 29th at the Denver Nuggets, 4 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists, 25% from the field. Then October 31st versus the Kings, 8 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists, a steal, and a block, and 30% from the field. So Brunson right now not shooting the basketball well. The field goal percentage has dropped way down over the last 2 or 3 games. And I know he had two good games last week, but the last few games, his production's gone down, the minutes have gone down. And right now, he's just a guy that's a backup, in my opinion, where we'll see an occasional big game or two from him in a week. But right now, he's not going to be consistent. Luka Doncic is the man over there, obviously, in Dallas. And once Porzingis comes back as well, his scoring will go down even more. So right here, Brunson, he's been dropped so far in a 2% of fantasy leagues. And this week, I would drop him. There's just better options on the wire and more consistent players, I think, out there. The next guard is Patty Mills of the Brooklyn Nets. So Patty Mills was off to a good start in the first week of the season. But now he's not doing much in the last three or four games here is Mills. On the season's 10.6 points a game, 2.3 rebounds, 2.6 assists, 2.6 threes a game, but only 44% from the field. So Patty Mills, I thought... With Kyrie Irving out, he was going to score the basketball more. And he's going to be more consistent, obviously, with more playing time under his belt. But that just hasn't been the case here for Mills. In the last two games, he's only played 20 minutes. And the Nets have won those ball games as well. So the last few games for Mills, October 27th versus the Heat. Four points, three rebounds, five assists, 11% from the field. October 29th versus the Pacers, five points, three rebounds, two assists, a steal, a three, 40% from the field. And October 31st versus the Pistons, 7 points, 2 assists, a 3 and 42% from the field. So right now, that's just not getting the job done here. He's not scoring the basketball much. He's not playing enough. And he's hurting you in your field goal percentages and pretty much a lot of categories where he's not contributing. So right here, the first few games of the season, he was on fire, but he fizzled out quickly. And he's a guard I would drop this week. And the third and final guard I would drop, Stavion Mitchell. Of the Sacramento Kings, so Donovan Mitchell's brother in his rookie year here with Sacramento. And so far in the year, 7.7 points a game, 1.7 rebounds, 3 assists, a steal a game, a 3, but an awful 35% from the field. So Mitchell, we saw a couple decent games from him. His biggest one to date was October 24th versus the Warriors with 22 points, a rebound, 4 assists, 3 threes, and 56%. From the field, but ever since then, October 27th at the Suns, five points, three rebounds, three assists, a three, 28% from the field. October 29th at the Pelicans, eight points, two rebounds, and assists, two steals, two threes, and 33% from the field. And October 31st at the Mavericks, six points, three assists, a block, and 37% from the field. So Mitchell, it's not like he's getting the play, not getting playing time here. He's playing anywhere from 25 to 30 minutes a game here for the Sacramento King team. But he's not getting anything going. He's not being efficient from the field. And right now he's hurting fantasy owners more than helping him. I think as the season goes on, he'll get better, obviously, because he is a rookie. And that's just the progression you want to see. But right now, he holds no value, in my opinion. And he's a guard to drop. So that's a few guards I would drop in week three of the fantasy basketball season.